Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about global app update for 1 July 2022 maintenance update. But be notice all content on this global app video was recorded on global app server. So this is all content that will update on our live server in future. And mostly all this update will implement on Korea live server for next maintenance update and following outside Korea server if they or be feel this content already ready to release outside Korea server globally. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, this is official website for Global Lab Update at 1 July 2022. First feature update about Notwar and Seeds War, especially improvement when you placing guild building. They will add this new feature to place your guild building to prepare your Notwar and Seeds War by using this simulation before you place it. So you can know more detail how it's look for this building after this building finish to build on specific location. But take notice if you using this feature, you cannot use remote installation feature. So your character need to go to target location to use this feature. Okay, next feature update improvement for bartering especially for special bartering after you do some number of bartering that you can find this special bartering menu on this barter information menu at this location and this special bartering usually will appear after you do accumulate number of bartering 1500 pieces and this special bartering will appear again mostly if you do acti until 100 bartering after that and in future they will add new item that will appear on this special bartering like fell heart in form of fell concentrate magic garmot heart like stone of wind fortune mano sailor cloth any kind of that manos accessory and any kind of that geranoa accessory so they will add more precious item that will appear on this special bartering and also to do this special bartering they already change some item to exchange it like any kind of blue grade accessory but they didn't mention what kind of blue grade accessory that we need any kind of crafting material that show on this list and also level 3 until level 5 barter item and they also will remove require item to finish this special bartering following on this list and also they will decrease probability for ship upgrade material that will appear on this special bartering and for this special bartering they also will increase number of core coin that you can get from this special bartering by some chance following number on this list so you can get more crow coin from this special bartering in future. And also barter support box that you can get by some chance when exploring on some island. That you have chance to get this barter support box 1, 2, 3, and 4. And if you open this barter support box, you will get all another box that will give you some land material. They will change this barter support box to become 10 pieces mystery barter support item. That if you open this mystery barter support box, you will get randomly one of 78 material for bartering to get level 1. But from this information, we still didn't know how much item that we will get by some chance from this new mystery barter support box. I think this is bit nerf if we only will get low number for this item. And they also didn't mention to increase chance to get this mystery barter support box in future. So just wait for future update about this content when they apply it on our live server. And next about Infernal Island and Deling Heart Island that we usually can exchange barter material with luxury item on land. As you can see, if you go to Infernal Island, if you already unlock some barter route by reaching some number of barter count, this Infernal Island and Deling Heart Island usually will offer you some land decoration item and they will change this luxury item that will appear on this Infernal and Deling Heart Island. They will remove chance to get decoration item from this island offer and also level 4 panakea to become you can get fair than blackstone offer from these two island either one piece or two pieces and if your barter count more than 3000 you have chance to get one until two pieces either fairy blackstone or frosted blackstone and if your barter count more than 10,000 barter count you have chance to get crow coin bartering 
from this Infernan and Delinghart Island. So at least they chance chance to get more precious item. Okay, next about class balancing. On this week Global Lab update, there are some class balancing. But before we go to class balancing, they also improve character walking animation. As you can see, when I test it on Global Lab server, this is how it looks for this new walking animation after this change. And you can compare it, this walking animation, with our current update that they mentioned this walking animation more natural than before. And next about class balancing, first about sorcerer's class, especially for its succession, they just increase range to get casting speed buff when using this skill. And next class balancing for mehwa class, mehwa class also get some chance in future. First about mehwa succession, they will change this skill stamina consumption to become consume combat source in future. And also skill effect from this skill, they will change to get petal for your mehwa from 2 to become 1. And for mehwa awakening, for this skill, they will add some buff to increase 20 dp for 10 seconds after using this skill. And for another skill, they will remove buff to increase dp by 20 points for 10 seconds from this skill. And they will add some debuff effect when you successful hit target. Target will got reduce movement speed, casting speed, and attack speed by 20% for 10 seconds after using this skill. And they will reduce cooldown for this mehwa skill following on this number for its level of this skill. But skill accuracy when using this skill will reduce to become 20% from 50%. And they just add some buff after using this skill to increase all hit rate by 15% for 10 seconds after using this skill. And instead that they will remove previous buff to reduce movement speed, attack speed, and casting speed by 20% for 10 seconds from this skill. And also decrease evasion rate by 3% for 10 seconds that will remove after this change. And for PvP damage reduction rate when using this skill also will reduce to become 30% only. So they buff PvP damage from this skill. And they also reduced cooldown for some skill for this Mehwa Awakening following on this website. And for another skill, they also increase all defense reduction effect from minus 20 to become minus 30 dp to target. And also add 25% critical strike chance for PvP and decrease PvP damage reduction for this skill. So overall for this Mehwa class, they buff PvP damage. And they just change skill attribute specially for buff after using some skill, either succession and awakening for this mehwa class. And next for archer class, they also remove PvP damage reduction rate from 55% to become 34% only for this skill. And also number hit that reduce during PvP, they will reduce it from 3 hit to become 1 hit only. And they also maintain forward guard effect after using this skill until this skill animation is complete. So mostly for archer class, is buff for PvP, either for its PvP damage and his survivability when using this skill. And next for sets class, sets also get some chance that will apply in future. First about set succession, they will improve some skill combo when using some skill. And also they will increase PvP damage by reducing its PvP damage reduction rate for this three skill. And also they will reduce time to combo some skill to make this combo more smoothly. And then I think the huge improvement for set skill, especially for chain rift skill. When you moving to target direction, another player will see your set class will move to opposite side. So this rift chain skill will make confuse your opponent, especially for PvP, and your sets will cannot be tracked where his direction to move when using this rift chain skill. And next for sets awakening, they also increase PvP damage by reducing PvP damage reduction for some skill. And they also increase number hit for this sets awakening skill following on this number. And they also will move number hit when using this skill for first hit, second hit, and last hit. So you can apply more damage on first hit and second hit that mostly people will skip the third hit. So you can get more hit to target when using this skill. And they will increase skill animation when using this awakening set skill. And next class balancing for Corsair class. For Corsair succession, they will change its survivability mode from super armor to become invisible when moving and then super armor at the end. And they increase movement distance when using this Corsair Succession skill and also move some number hit for this Corsair Succession skill 
that will give more hit at second hit and they will add forward guard when using this skill and also improve its animation when doing this skill and for Corsair Awakening, they just add new skill for Corsair as you can see, this is new skill for Corsair Awakening and this skill is high mobility skill for Corsair Awakening that will jumping on your target direction when using this skill while attacking target opponent and also have some help from her other minion I think this is great skill for Corsair Awakening so she have more mobility when doing some combo and you can activate this skill by using direction and pressing F when on Awakening stance and also they will increase the buff effect after using this skill from 15 point to become 20 point to target opponent and also for this skill they just remove super armor effect but they will increase number of hit from this skill to become 6 hit and also increase cooldown for this skill from 3 second to become 4 second and for pvp damage still same because they also increase pvp damage reduction rate for this skill so i think this is bit nerf for this skill and for another skill they just add super armor effect when using this skill and also reducing cooldown time from 8 second to become 6 second and for another corsair awakening skill they just improve its animation to become more smoothly so if you play corsair class sets class archer class and mahua class Make sure you check on this official website that I already put link for this translated website in this video description for more detailed information about this class balancing that will apply in future. Okay, next about item chains. In future, they will add more ancient magic crystal that you can process it to become blackstone powder while you grinding it. And also in future, you can get kaktunak item. Actually, this is the item kaktunak that mostly you can get this item by grinding on blood wolf settlement and function for this kaktunak to craft dark red fang crystal valor and dark red fang crystal armor to get additional ep and critical hit from this glove crystal and all damage reduction and all resistant from this armor crystal and in future you can craft this material kaktunak by using all material on this list so you can get this kaktunak not only from grinding at blood wolf settlement but you also can craft it yourself and in future they will unify description either target for humanoid and human race to become unified as human race for any buff effect and item description and for more detail about this content that they mention about bonus damage to specific type of monster you can check my previous guide about logo beside monster health bar guide that i show you this diagram fan for bonus damage classification for more detail info so you can maximize your damage against any type of monster on black desert world and next improvement for s float 3 and maple float 3 they will increase its maximum durability from 50 point to become 100 point if you enhance it to become plus 10 so if you're doing fishing and using this as float or maple float you can use it more longer before the sub equipment for fishing is broken and next about gathering content in future if you're using liana toolbag and in this liana toolbag if you didn't equip some of gathering tools when you near gathering object they just add new icon to identify you didn't equip specific gathering tools so this is will more easy to identify about any equipment from your liana gathering tools and for more detail to get this liana tools back you can check my previous video guide that will guide you to get this liana tool back and use it properly and next about monster they just add new monster at sicaria underwater wind especially for upper floor and this monster will appear with low chance when you grinding monster on upper floor Sikarkria underwater wind. And when you encounter this monster, this monster will summon some other little monster that you can kill it to get more trash loot. But take notice if this special monster got low HP, this monster will cast powerful attack. So be careful when you encounter this new monster by low chance when you grinding on Sikarkria upper floor. And next about gathering content. In future, they will add some spot for Triangle Head Lizard at Serendia region. When you kill one of them on this location, another Triangle Head Lizard on this location will swarming you. Actually, this is buff for gathering content, especially for gathering any kind of material that related with lizard, either lizard meat, lizard skin, and lizard blood. And this Triangle Head Lizard gathering spot located on this area on map at Serendia region. Well, you on non Elvia server because if you go to this area on Elvia server, this triangle head lizard will replace 
with any Elvia real monster. Okay, next feature update about quest and knowledge. In future, they will fix requirement to get their request from NPC Jerimo and Mokasa at Kama Sylvia region. If you're doing skip mine quest, Using your seasonal character, this quest also will unlock if you already finish Fugar Memorandum Chapter 6 when doing skip main quest. And also they just make easy for some fishing quests that you need to hand over specific fish to become hand over one piece blue grade or yellow grade fish. And in future they will improve to get knowledge from some monster that will appear when doing main quest, especially for some boss on this main quest. And if you already finished mine quest using any character and still didn't have this knowledge, you can get this knowledge by talking with NPC Georgas at Calpeon by using character who already complete this mine quest. But take notice this is only one time per family. And also they will increase chance to get knowledge steel nooks and ruin guard tower when you killing Dark Rift boss. And next, if you using Season Boss Gear Exchange Coupon to exchange your Tufala Gear to become Boss Gear with one lower enhancement level, they will change this quest name from only gear category, either main weapon, sub weapon, awakening weapon, and other, to become mention specific Boss Gear, either Kasarka, Kutum, Dandelion, Giat, Dimtri, Muskan, and Beck. So if you using the Season Boss Gear Exchange Coupon, you didn't confuse which gear that you will get when exchange your Tufala Gear to become Boss Gear with one lower enhancement level. And more detail to use the Season Boss Gear Exchange Coupon, you can follow my special guide for Boss Gear Exchange Coupon Guide that I show you on this video. And next, they also will add some side story across Black Desert Continent, either at Port Eperia, Hasra Ruin, Calpeon, Waita Island, and Valencia. And also they just improve some minor fix for some side quests that you can check it yourself on this global lab website. As always, I already put link for this translated website in this video description for more detail for each side quest. And next about Conquest War and Not War, they just add new ballot for Guild Tank that you can get this ballot by destroying military wagon on Seeds War. But take notice this ballot is lower tier than previous ballot for Guild Tank. But at least this ballot can be used rather than if you didn't have any ballot on your quilt tank. And next about system, especially for auto pet function, they just improve auto pet vending in future, so your character didn't need to go to specific target point before go to target location. So this is will make your character running more efficient than before. And next about photo gallery function, in future they will add go to target location when you browsing any photo gallery from any other player, so you can go to target location where this photo taken on Black Desert World. Actually, this is great feature for this photo gallery function, so if you browse any photo gallery in future, you can use this feature to go to target location when this photo taken by any player on Black Desert World and share on this photo gallery. And then for another minor fix and change, I think all of this not to a big deal. Okay, that's all Global Lab update for 1 July 2022. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And also my current member, Dubiadut, Jimmy Snack, Doki, Angel, Homi, Ayrton, Kesuban, Killsteel, Remy, Jan Andres, Token R42, Kaimana, Demonite, Kozi, Selusos, as gold member. And also all my silver and bronze member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video, depend on your support level. And be noticed for some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karekarsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching, see you next time.